Are you okay. advocating for your children so, against terrible teachers? I should take my glasses off. You know, as a teacher, our job is to make our students want to learn, like learning, be interested in what we're teaching. At least that's what I do. But you know what? Not everybody's cut out to be a teacher. Not everybody should be teaching. You know, um, I don't know if I've shared with you guys, my oldest son um, was diagnosed with autism at two. And he spent 12 years having IEPs and getting a lot of assistance. And he is such a phenomenal kid. He has come through so much and even though he's been through a lot he has always done it with such grace such grace like the sweetest soul you could ever meet and so I always say he can be the poster child for autism you know especially if you catch it early and you get the assistance you need like the services because he is high functioning and in New York he had OT, PT, assistive technology, as well as counseling on his IEP. When we moved to Tennessee, because he's high functioning, they pretty much took away the services we had or weren't able to facilitate it, which is sad, you know? Um, and I was like, okay, we can do this, right? But... Yeah, for the most part, things has been great. The school has been understanding. The teachers he's had since we've been here has been really accommodating. Uh, writing is a difficult thing for him. That's why he has a computer from New York, assistive technology that he can take pictures, do his stuff on his computer, submit it. It really helps. Until this chemistry teacher. Now, he's been complaining about this chemistry teacher for a minute. I even went to a parent-teacher conference just so I can talk to her. As teachers, our goal is not to make our students' life miserable. Now, my son has done nothing but try to accommodate this woman. Yet she is constantly terrorizing him. Now, I have a meeting this evening with the school, and I pray God, give me strength, you know. But as parents, you know, we want to help our, our kids, right? We want to make life easier and better for him, especially if they're doing the right thing, if they're doing what they ask, you know. So, I guess this is a PSA to teachers. Our job is not to terrorize students. It is not to make them hate learning. We need sometimes to be a little more accommodating in the sense where it's not even accommodating because this woman, my phone overheated in the car. So like I was saying, as teachers, our job is to encourage our students to support them, to make learning be something they like, not hate the class they have because the teacher is not reasonable you know so she's wanted my son to uh, print his um, assignments because she don't like receiving emails okay he's been printing him and she gave out an assignment to the entire class and didn't give him because she didn't like the fact that he had to take a picture of it on his computer. Now, I feel like that is singling out my kid, okay? He's the only one in the class that uses a computer to assist him. She didn't have a problem when we spoke for parent-teacher conference. To my face, she was like, oh, I have no problem. Whatever he needs to use is totally fine once he you know print his assignments and hand it in since then he's she's just been terrorizing him you know 
And so as parents, forget the fact that I'm a teacher. We need to advocate for our students, our kids. You know, we have all right to advocate for them. And two, report those teachers who are not being kind-hearted. You understand? I mean, some may agree, some may disagree. But we'll find out how this meeting, or I'll update you guys how the meeting go. Because right now, I'm not in a good mood at all, you know? And the mama bear in me is not playing. Not playing. But as always, I want to go in there with a positive mindset, willing to find out what the school is willing to do to assist in making sure that my son is not feeling so overwhelmed. He was so upset with what she's doing to him and how she's singling him out. He wrote a almost two page letter to his counselor saying he can't take it anymore. Why should teachers be pushing their students to that length? Why? We really, really, really. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there are some kids that are, let's just say, doesn't have the right attitude, you know? But even, we're the adults. We're, t we're the teachers. You understand? My son, if there's one thing I can say, and this is not just me saying it, every teacher he has talks about how well-mannered, how kind-hearted, how much he follows directions. He's high-functioning, so structure is his thing. So it just breaks my heart this woman is making life miserable for him. <sighs> anyway, this is just me venting before my meeting apart from having a sick kid at home and dealing with some other stuff but anyway i appreciate you guys letting me vent and i definitely will update you on what transpires between this woman and the school and myself until the next one bye